Welcome to Optimize 24, the thought leadership event for Aspen Tech. Joining us is Lena Liberty, who is the Senior Vice President of Product Marketing at Aspen Tech. Welcome, Lena. Thank you, welcome. It's great to have you here for your insight. I think the, the, the pressing question to start with is, you know, if we look at your, your product and your solutions portfolio, it has evolved quite a bit in the last few years. So could you give us some of the last couple of years for us? Yes, so it's been an exciting couple of years. Here at Aspen Tech, just about two years ago, the transaction with Emerson occurred. Um, and as part of that partnership with Emerson, we have picked up a couple of new portfolios or product suites, uh, specifically our um, digital grid management offering and our subsurface science and engineering offering. So those two areas are new for Aspen Tech. Um, I'll start off first with um, our, what we call SSE, so subsurface science and engineering um, solution offering. That suite of technologies really are helping customers um, with everything from energy security today. How do they leverage the technology to really evaluate the subsurface um, and then extract um, oil and gas more efficiently and effectively. Um, but that same exact technology is now evolving to uh, support new use cases. So use cases like CO2. So when customers are looking at carbon capture, utilization and storage, this technology really helps them with that. Utilization um, today is quite often used for um, oil recovery and enhancing that oil recovery, but also what companies are doing is storing. So they'll use the carbon to optimize um, basically recovering oil from the subsurface and then store that carbon into the ground. So we're seeing a lot of our existing customers taking advantage of that technology. Um, but then also using the technology just for storage. So companies that are brand new to the industry that are evolving or um, emerging in the market today for carbon storage are, can leverage this technology. And that same technology can be used for white hydrogen to find white hydrogen, um, which is really exciting for our customers as well. So we're seeing a lot of evolution of, of that software and as sustainability continues to fuel the market, new use cases emerging for that technology. And then also for our digital grid management software, um, when you look at um, what's happening in the market today with the um, surge of renewables, um, with a lot of our traditional process industries looking at electrification, um, having that portfolio as part of um, Aspen Tech's offering as a whole is really enabling us to satisfy new and emerging um, use cases for our customers and then grow into power and utilities. So we're really excited about both areas. You just described some of the fascinating uh, technological solutions that are at play uh, from your end. Aspen Tech as a company has been on record saying you believe in SDGs, you believe in some of the COP28 ideals to working towards a sustainable future. I want to ask you a macro question. Are, when we talk about sustainability, when we talk about operation excellence, should we really compartmentalize the two or are they joined at the hip? So we actually think they're one and the same. So when you look at operational excellence, companies have really evolved. So historically, a lot of our traditional process industries and even power and utilities looked at operational excellence in the context of their core businesses. Um, and the performance gains were really key. So if you look at power and utilities, it's about the resiliency of the grid. It's about all of the operational excellence to ensure power is given um, in the broadest sense and in the most stable, reliable way. If you look at the traditional process industries, making sure that we're being most efficient um, and driving those efficiencies through to ensure that you can provide energy at a affordable cost to the world. Um, those elements are key and still remain foundational for all of the industries that we serve. But now we're looking at how do we do everything we've always done, but do it in a more sustainable way. So operational excellence over the past few years, I believe really evolved to include both the traditional performance as well as sustainability. Let's take this macro question down to the client level. As technologists, as, as, as futurists, how are you helping your clients find their, their sustainability alamo, both over the near term and perhaps with an eye on the, on the long term? And, and just tell us, tell us a bit more color about Aspen Tech's own sustainability partners. Are you practicing what you are preaching? Yes, absolutely. So from a sustainability perspective, one of the key things that we do from a product and, and solution perspective is really help our customers realize their sustainability pathways. So there's tons of ways to get to a more sustainable future. 
Um, it's not easy, so I don't want to make it sound like it is because it's a definitely um, the most challenging thing that we're facing today. But those different pathways, each customer is evaluating how to get started. So what we've done over the past few years is really look at the various pathways, working and collaborating with our customers, driving co-innovation with our customers themselves, and then looking at how do we enhance our technology to make it easier for them to move forward faster towards those various pathways. So something as simple as um, sustainability models. So what we've introduced over the past couple of years is um, a set of uh, sustainability models, just simple examples. So examples of how they can take our technology, the technology they've been using for decades, um, and create models to move further down these pathways that they're establishing for themselves. Um, so we've set up um, sustainability model examples and they're available to all of our customers that are on support and we're really excited to say I'm well over 66,000 at this point. Um, models have been downloaded already. So our customers are, are taking advantage of the technology that they have at hand and really driving forward uh, towards sustainability. You, know, you have some of the, on, on Aspentex portfolio, you have some of the most asset intensive industries out there and they have copious amounts of data. So how are you, to, to put a, a, a very uh, lay person's expression, holding their hand in finding value in that data and taking, find it, finding some, some real uh, sustainable solutions from the big data that they hold? That is a great question. So when you look at sustainability and you look at managing what we have today, which is the near term, and then forward-looking activities from a sustainability perspective around new energy or whatever it might be. Part of what we have to do is look at all of the um, data that we have access to and really leverage it. So when you look at data, most of the data that we have isn't leveraged fully to its fullest content. And why? Well, it's scattered everywhere. So if you look at a plant, no matter what type of plant it is, there's data across the entire plant and then there's data within each plant so it's distributed within each plant or within each function across the value chain. And from an enterprise perspective, all of that data is not easily accessible. So with InMation, which is our new data management solution, um, its capabilities allow us to provide enterprise data management. So it's allowing us to collect data from any level. So it could be at the plant, it could be across multiple plants within a given site, and then of course, across the entire enterprise, collect, and correlate that data and then allow you to aggregate and contextualize the data. The biggest challenge with data is understanding the context in which the data comes from. Um, and with our data management solution, we're really happy to say that we can not only aggregate it, we can also um, contextualize it and then make it more usable. So then now as we're developing those sustainability models or developing models for any process at all, you can take advantage of and harness the power of that data um, to really take and, and drive advancements in, in the process industries. Exciting times at Aspen Tech. Many, many thanks for your insight, yeah, Absolutely. Linda. That was Leanne Thank Liberty. You. She is the Senior Vice President of Product Marketing at Aspen Tech.